down here on the BTR mark, and Total War Squad will be moving up to the marketplace here on the FOB. Our mission is to defend this compound or this uh, village area. Uh, if your squads that are outside the main defense area, your squad getting pushed, so that is Total War Squad or uh, Beat Runner Squad, if you guys are getting pushed, fall back to this compound. If your squad leader's red, do everything you can to get back to this compound. Uh, chain of Command is myself, then Clay J, then Rain Man, Total War, and BVD Runner. So one, two, three, four. Are there any questions? No. All right. Seriously, once we uh, once Alrighty. we stop off and check contact, should be a relatively simple op for the U.S. They're gonna do go for a three-positioned hold on the point proper at C4. They're going to send a squad up to C3 Marketplace and a squad down to the village at C5-6. Relatively easy hold. Um, deceptively easy hold because there's not a lot of fallback position. Let's go ahead and go over loadouts for the uh, for the U.S. and insurgents. What do these guys have to um, participate in this up? And we're already live. Great job. Um, so for the U.S., they've got three squads with one squad lead, two uh Two fire team leads, two automatic riflemen, one light anti-tank kit, and one medic. They get one engineer squad, which is going to be at the point proper, which has one squad lead, two fire team leads, four engineers, which are basically walking fobs on their own. I believe they have something like five sandbags and five barbed wire, or possibly ten sandbags and ten barbed wire. But it can be uh, refilled for cheap using the ammo bags. Um, they also get one medic. The platoon army, which the platoon lead can deal out as he sees fit, are two medium machine guns and two ammo bearers. They also get one trans truck or one logic truck empty um just for for moving around most likely not going to really use that and uh yeah that's the kits they've got insurgent kits they've got one squad lead two automatic riflemen and one medic per squad no fire team leads the cell cache which is basically the platoon armory are four scouts four raiders and eight rpgs because so they're gonna have a lot of uh heavy or, or he to fire into doorways and sort of pick apart the the U.S. from range before having to push in, and they also get all of the technicals, all of them. We've seen two rocket techies, we've seen SPG techie, two logic techies, and another SPG techie. We've got Red 1 moving south off the bat, Red 4 hooking up with them with their own techie. These guys had uh, two trans or a transport and a, a Ishka techie. Uh, we've got Red 3 down here with a um, transport techie, sending a fire team west, possibly just going to, yeah, this is the forward squad, and they're going to scout out. Red 3, moving north to Marketplace. Red 1 and 2 on the point proper. Rain Man is the one we're looking out for, and this is his first time commanding. Putting a lot of pressure on that guy. Um, Yeah, and those are the kids. Rocket Techie, the vehicle, they can put down a vehicle repair station with various defensive structures for that those Rocket Techies. So they can fire those Rocket Techies. Should be uh, pretty interesting to see what happens. Is this the first up or second? This is the first round, David. We just started. Live was about two minutes ago. So you have not missed a single thing. Our event admin's doing a great job. We got started six minutes after the top of the hour. Usually we don't get started till about 15, 20 minutes. And so, you know, just being able to expedite that, the, the, the brief and the roll call and all that stuff is really going to help cut down on these Wednesday off times and uh, get done at a reasonable hour, especially for those guys on the East Coast, which it's already pushing 9, 10 o'clock. So right off the bat, we've got just movement, moving to uh, to get into their spots. Red three or blue three, and moving into the market. I don't know about moving all the way through market because that's a lot further they're gonna have to fall back for. Maybe uh, this this corner here is a really good corner to to watch out to the east and the south. But uh, red or blue three, I keep want to say red. Uh, red blue three is 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 prioritizing the north side of market and making sure they're not maneuvering around the edge of the map. Maintain like a kind of 180 arc in that town. So, looking everywhere from your north all the way down to about your south. Yeah, copy. Because they 180. could come from The 180 north to south facing east is basically this is the arc he wants he wants them to have right here. He's not concerned about his west at all. So this is the arc. Must have and, and and his position is not bad for that. This fire team here is in a really good spot. This fire team is potentially going to move over to the east though, just to just to uh, cover that arc. How's it going, Yodi? How's it going, David? 
chaos. A lot of people was talking before. Skeptic missed out on the op, but you get to watch. You get to hang out with me. That's that's good. If you're interested in uh, maybe you can probably sit in pre-op and get in for the second round. Not everybody can stick around for both times or for both rounds. So you know who knows. Until then, you can definitely just hang out with me, and uh, we can watch all of this from the sky. Red 1 looks like they're going to hold their position. Same with Red 4. Looks like they're going to... Well, actually, Red 4 is going to move south, looks like. Red 4, 1 is going to hold their position. Red 2 is moving now. Who's driving these rocket techies? Londarts. Londarts and Stalker. So, Londarts is the platoon lead. Is not going to take away from another squad to man these techies. He's going to stick with his, his squad, or him and the, the one guy in his squad to uh, deal with these ranged assets and all the rest of these guys to push an assault. These have been spotted. Squad lead 300 meters out, approximately Delta 229. Literally one spot away? Oh no. Unfortunate. Uh, details 10 uh, tactical. 10 vehicle. Hold one. Trying to get eyes. They're trying to. 336. The exact coordinates. Uh, 8336. Hmm. Exact coordinates, huh? Infantry uh, getting out of it. Armored tech Oh, these Vehicles moving south. Did you see these guys? Is this an armor technical? No. What armor technical is he seeing? Yeah, where do you want it? That's not an armor technical. He definitely said to the east. Right now, it's just the waiting game for the U.S. The U.S. have to hold this position right here. This fob where Dwarf is standing is the objective. And, uh, yeah, they're just going to sit tight and let the insurgents come to them. That's an interesting one. Using barbed wire to... I got engineer on what do you two. What the hell? I'm not... I did that well, I don't know, but it's dead fine. I don't know how I feel about just the through. line of with, with engineers. If you had a fob See, now we with supplies, about too much, Cuba. 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 Hey, what if well, you come by down the south, they have to go I don't. With engineers, you have such a limited one, amount sure. of uh, assets. Why not just use the like the the barbed wire to block like standing behind the tree or to block standing on these corners rather than having lines. I guess there's, uh, Karma was saying he doesn't want to worry about the South at all, and so I guess that, that could be the argument. I just feel like you could stretch out these uh, these uh, barbed wire to be a, a little more inclusive and in, in just blocking areas off. Yeah, like here, this is a great barbed wire. It prevents them from running up and using this tree as cover. Well, I guess this isn't bad either. It prevents them from moving the South. Or from getting in this little depolate and in front of Okay. I mean, it's not bad. I think you could just use it better. Hmm. Movement. Pick up the pace in this movement. Red, red 1 and Red 2. Um, hooking back up with each other. Looks like this is where they're going to set up the rocket technicals. Red 4 and Red 3 are going to come in this flank. Blue 4 has sent out a fire team to the east to sort of monitor the squads that he had spotted on the east and I really like that call. Jmar, Crystal, Boogeyman, and Phoenix. Phoenix is probably the fire team lead. No, Boogeyman's the fire team lead here. Oh, you have the fire team lead binoculars. Maybe not the best idea to have the medic probably up. up on the front. Uh, your guys' your defense set up like your like your raised wire, your sandbags and such. Push up on here, not looking so, uh, I'm playing on C455, I have three guys. Do you got guide cover in north? Probably four to five there, and then I just told them to put it wherever they see fit inside the compound. Focus northeast. Roger. See, you got your mind down. Alright, roger that. Yeah, there should be eight mines on the map. Eight mines. Oh, Roger. Sick. Are you are you opposed to me sending a buddy team okay. west of the compound on C447? Oh, I'm not opposed to it, no. 
How does the whole joining process work? It's been a long time since I looked into it. Uh, Team Nova, if you're interested in participating in these Squad Ops One Life events, all you have to do is sign up on our website, squadops.gg, link your Discord, and take our Squad Ops basic training course. It's only about 45 minutes to an hour long on Thursdays, all on the website, all on the calendar. After that, you can then participate in any and all of our Squad Ops One Life events. We do them on Wednesday, twice on Saturdays. We also have firefights on Fridays and postscriptum events on Sundays. Both of those are not every Friday or Sunday. Um, they, they vary depending on uh, uh, staff availability, but our Wednesdays and Saturday events are almost 100% every Wednesday and twice on Saturdays. All in your yeah, you local time. What Whatever for, uh, your sure computer guys, is set to uh, is what the website will show the time in, so there's zero confusion. That's a what are firefights? Firefights are, are one life events, but just smaller. Um, instead of uh, full four squad on four squads, it is uh, two squads on two squads with a command apiece. Um, it allows for, one, they're a little more fast paced. Two, they're, um, you can get a little more tactical with a tactical. E O O L um, with your movement and um, and your flanks and and it, it's it's a little more and it, it, it's to to get uh, people who are not as comfortable as squad leading fire team leading commanding uh, some training without throwing them into the deep end dealing with a full platoon of thirty five people forty people the roads on our side of the river yeah that's what i'm thinking so there's basic training is there any advanced or extra training there is uh advanced training um they vary in subject from cqb to vehicle handling to weapons handling all video game wise i mean um but it, it's uh, i think our, our 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 most popular one is the the cqb one uh I led by assault i believe somebody can correct me if i'm wrong and we do have a leadership course as well for small unit leadership and fire team eating both a practical or both a uh, lecture and a practical. We have we have the the the, the leadership courses broken up that way because they those can get. I, I was a part of the first leadership training course and that thing was like three and a half hours long, four hours long. And we're like, yeah, let's go ahead and cut this down. <laughs> cut this into two two tests. Rockets out. He's just dumping rockets. Oh my God, did he just team kill somebody? Oh no. Oh no, was that a team kill? Or those that you. No. No, I don't think it was. Actually, yeah. Are you engaged? Anybody engaged yet? We're not being engaged. That's not us. Roger. Uh, right over here. Dorf, get you guys pulled back. They're just Come again, Dorf. Bait now. Get you guys pulled back. They're just gonna get shot up by those rocket techies. Copy. You don't have to pull back. Is that a team kill? I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know if that was a team kill or is that somebody who, who shot. There's no kills. Uh, that was a. You got one shot. You got bombed. Uh, okay. One of my guys from the east. You just lost again. Yeah, copy. Who? Who to hover over? Blue three or blue four? Blue three is closer to contact, but blue four seems to be the one taking the rocket barrages. Know you're in that compound now. They might try to hit to the north. They might start hitting you with uh, rockets. So just copy. North. I think this was this. An interesting yeah, rocket dump. I should have kept them with you so I can learn. But expect them to hit you from oh, the You should have told me that. Uh, I didn't. I didn't put two and two together. Okay, I've got a guy calling out one times infantry, moving to our south, to the west. Just, no, okay. Is that a rocket? Oh shit. Where are these landing? Okay. Go ahead. One of your guys Found. bags here uh, in the compound to my southwest is clipping through the wall pretty significantly. Negative, not yet. Alright, there they go. They're starting to land somewhere where they need to. Got reports of the RD truck's location. Incoming. You didn't get hit. Right? 
approximately D429 oh. coming in directly onto our location. Over. Don't survive with the four tank. The insurgent's idea is to soften them up with their rocket already. That's really close. They're getting them. Right, we need to make sure got... There they go. They're getting them dialed in, and while that's going on, we got uh, Sled V, Hellcool, and Silas trying to crawl through the field. Jamar and Crystal are going to get destroyed for rocket lands anywhere near them. Appendix? Appends. Um, gets hurt. He's going to have to bandage. He'll be alright. Crystal's running inside. Oh, BVD runner takes a shot! Oh! Rough, that's a squad lead down. Oh, what unfortunate. Oh, no, Crystal almost goes down, too. Can you not expose yourself to the rockets? Am I stupid, or is already artillery basically non-existent in normal multiplayer? Uh, it's, it's basically non-existent in normal multiplayer. The rocket techie is very hard to accurately aim. Look at the spread. Just look at the spread. It landed, you know, 100 meter or 50 meters... To the north and you know 25 30 meters Man, to the south oh beef baby has got some really good shots wow really nice mg fire oh look at this medium machine gun look senpai's got a really nice spot here as he's taking rock jump and was he inside no he was running inside he got caught at the door yeah, but uh, Doobie Scoot, the, uh, the rocket already is very hard to aim, so people don't like to use it. People like to use mortars, but I feel like mortars are, like, you gotta know what you're doing to effectively use mortars, so you, you a lot of time you don't see people using the Senpai's gonna have to pull off that doorway, just fire and move. By the way, I really like this, uh, this, the idea of sending a squad this far down. Man, we gotta cross. We're gonna have to move across the set. Jamar and Chris are gonna have to try and cross the road. I wouldn't trust artillery if my team was because do see I, I I believe there was a team kill. First kill of the game was a team kill from that rocket already. I, I believe. We've got a long range MG fire from the point proper onto this uh onto this technical driven by synchronized and reserve. They make it across, no problem. Rocket's gonna continue to land. They've got him dialed in at this point. This is as good, this is as accurate as the rocket artillery is gonna be. And still, look at the spread. Just look at it. This is why it's not used in multi. The spread is just insane. And it's not supposed to be accurate. Look at, if you, well, I'll go take a look at the rocket already. You, you can't, there's no left to right movement. It is only up down, so you have to move the entire vehicle to, uh, to adjust left to right. And it, and it's, crazy look at it i love it though i'm not saying it's it's terrible but I'm, it's not great <laughs> look at this it's just a rocket pod attached to a truck and imagine a carpet bomb from the both of those danger close to friendlies yeah they, they're in a serious risk of hidden friendlies who are getting uh acceptable like pretty close hella cool sled you may go down here just from the angle look at that no do it. I think it's time to stop the rocket already and start uh, bombarding the point proper. You think mortars are underpowered? I think the mortars are... They, the explosion could be bigger, yes. Not much bigger. They just need to be a little... Oh, look at that! Hell cool gets hit by his... Two! Two almost goes down. He almost goes down. There's two rockets that landed so close to him. They need to stop it now. <laughs> They're already up in kills. They got one kill for the US, two for the insurgents. I guess slightly up. Oh no! It's gonna do more damage to friendlies! Hella <laughs> cool goes down to a friendly artillery barrage. Yeah. Yeah. Three, what's your status? You have to ask teammates who sees where it's landing. Exactly, dude. You have to, you have to, it's, it's a very combined arms, um, 
effort. You need you need spotters to accurately guide it in. The the person guiding it has to know how to adjust. The person adjusting has to understand what he's saying to adjust properly. Just so many things have to work for artillery to be effective. Nothing. The dip on the rocket is super. It, it, the the spread is just insane. Looks like four is gonna fall back by fire team. Good call. Right, I don't want to fall back entirely. Rest of the back. That's a fire team. What did I say? You're saying buddy team. Whoops. Boogie man. Taking charge of the squad. Actually doing a good job taking charge after BVD runner goes down. I know. Um, let's see. Still round one into it. It is still round one. About uh, 20 minutes into the round. Not a lot of fire has been happening from uh, infantry. Mostly the rocket barrage, which is doing as much harm as it is good. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, update on full map movement. We got red 3 and red 1 on the south pushing north. Red 4 on the east pushing west. Red 2 on the northeast of blue 3. Looking like they have a standoff right now. Not sure if they're going to continue to push. Red 3 is just stuck out in the middle of the woods that were uh, the field. The, look at their, their position. Squad 1, I'm going to bug these guys to take over your spot looking south. What course do you have to take for Artie Truck? There, there's no course for the Artie Truck. It's just one of those vehicles where <laughs> it's so rarely used in our ops, and when it is, it, it's, it's mostly like, who knows how to use the Rocket Artie? Who wants to use the Rocket Artie? All right, let's go. Do you commentate postscriptum too? Uh, I don't commentate often, but I have commentated some of the postscriptum ops. They, they're usually on Sundays, and I have uh, personal plans on Sundays. If I can build up a solid base of commentators, though, um, I, we will be able to do it. I'm just working on getting people uh, comfortable commentating. Go ahead, advised, uh, I like this spot for this. Fire. Really like the spot for this technical. Uh, just minimize your exposure to rockets. If you gotta pull them close, let them pull in close. This is a really nice spot. Um, bump, bump, guiding in fire with the subway samurai. Command, I have a uh, grid reference on the district techie. It is D five six three. Dog five six three. Not a bad call. Not a bad call for that eastern techie. Silas and Alpha starting to push. Disco fire onto Crystal Boogeyman and Jmar. And they're, they're, they're suddenly out on a limb. They need to fall back. They've already evac'd one fire team to the north to hold the point. Um, now they just need to get out of here, in my opinion. They're really not going to do much here, but uh, just take shots and most likely die for free. We'll see what happens, though. If they harden up here and just let them come to them, we'll see what, see what happens. Ever since I got post I barely see any ops for it and none in the U times. Uh, do, it's, it's mostly a Sunday thing. Um, and, and Fridays, I, I believe they've had some on Fridays, and, uh, most of them are not in the EU time, they're mostly in the, uh, US time. The only, like, guaranteed EU-friendly time is the Saturday morning one, or it's Saturday afternoon for me. So, Alpha Guido, Silas, continuing to push up here, the rest of the, fire, the squad is, is moving well. Let's go check out... Anybody else? They're getting rocket already okay, over there. Missile techies are in Echo three four three. But I think this is where we're finally going to see some Echo infantry three, action as the three, insurgents rocket. prepare to push up to the southern There's village. We can do about them, so, like I said, keep heads down. They're going to have to come in at some point and hit us. Copy. Command, I have confirmed visual on enemies moving behind, behind and on top of the road to the east of Squad 4's position. Understood. Right here. Looking out that way myself. Four. In here. Oh, they're gonna have to go firm. Squad 4 is getting a squad to push very sneakily up from the east. I kind of like this. It's gonna be a little rough with the amount uh, Blue 2 has here to uh, actually push through the field, but I like the idea of uh, their movement. Silas and Alpha Guido. On one flank, so let be on the other. Let's we'll see what happens. Three, six, six. Why are you running away? You guys might have eyes on them from the compound.
But up your good are so good while the game is kind of stale between ops. Oh, okay. They set down an IED. That's why I was running away. They heard it though, and Boogeyman runs away. Another IED almost takes out Crystal. I like that planned. That was very well coordinated. Technical is dead. Technical is dead. Oh wow! Look at that. Two go down. No technical. Better mine? I have actually no idea how that, that, that technical died, but that technical is dead. Alpha Guido and Slevy pushing in. Crystal goes down. It's go, uh, Alpha Guido gets the frag through the murder hole. Now Alpha Guido's going to push up. Jmar's not looking. Jmar's looking now. Nope. Okay, Slevy takes the shots, misses. Jmar's now uh, aware of the situation, how close they actually are. Boogeyman, Phoenix, Jamar are not in a great spot all of a sudden. Sled B, firefight with Jamar. Sled B goes down. Phoenix takes out Sled B with the counter frag. Man, we're, uh, we're gonna fight it out here till the end. Good luck, for You killed the tech, I'm happy about that. Just try and kill a few more. Stop copy. Update on kills. Four for the U.S., five for the insurgents. U.S. making them pay for it. Nah. Uh, they do get stacked from the main compound. Oh, you know the size of contact out there. Say so your last? What's the size of contact out there? One squad, two squads? I, I approximate the squad. I'm not able to confirm that at this time. Roger. Got it. So, he says approximately a squad. It's approximately a squad assaulting him at this point. There's no no way he would know this squad is over here. But that information is correct. There's approximately a squad assaulting his current position. So, Psychonaut takes out Phoenix on the roof. Yeah, and Boogeyman's going to go oh, down yeah, here Roger. soon. Let's check out this northern position. And it, it, it doesn't necessarily need to get kills. These uh, rockets suppress so well. Your screen shakes, it goes black, you can't see anything, you can't return fire. You're afraid to look because you, you don't want to take that rocket to the face. If it does its job in suppressing, the rest of the platoon needs to move in. Like While these guys are laying down rockets into them, Blue two, or red 2 needs to move in. That's how the rockets are most effective, in my opinion. There's no way you're going to get a, an exorbitant amount of kills. Flicker, laying down fire. In general positions. Probably don't want to be on a roof while you're taking rocket already. But, what do I know? I think I'm actually going to hit him. Uh, no, I'm, not I'm not sure, though. He turned away. Yeah, no one's moving under it. Exactly. They need to use the rockets to move. And it looks like they're moving. Look, look, look. They're moving. Slowly, but they're moving. They need to move quickly. You gotta, like, sprint under this. Uh, while all of this is going on, Red 3 finally takes over. Boogeyman has gone down. Red 3's in command of the southern village. Red 1 on the west slowly moving forward with their technical. And great movement by the insurgents so far. This buddy probably needs to push up and hook up with his squad. Maybe AFK. Yeah, see this? This rocket, these rockets is not a mag dump or a, a pod dump. They're not just clicking as fast as they can. It is very deliberate. Boom, boom, boom. Like, he, he timed that out to um, still mid right, uh, round one. Still mid round one, you think. The, the, that was time, so these guys can move under. It looks like they ran out of rockets before they can actually complete their movement, but they got up there, no problem. Doesn't uh, right look like Storm took north. any contact. Yeah, they, Red they Two did not take uh, any contact moving fire. in there. They're none the wiser. Uh, Roger three. Then go over. Expect that contact to be hitting you real soon. Update on kill 6 for the U.S., 7 for the insurgents. Insurgents man to pull ahead by 1. 
But if they keep getting whittled down like this, they're not going to be able to have enough. Because look how many people are on the actual point proper. Just this is going to be a north. tough nut to crack. Of, uh, three, 100 meters north. Cyclone, if only you knew. Pretty sure they're gonna be pushing us soon. If only you knew. Right, all the way down this road. Raj. I'm gonna hear them if they come on the east road. Yeah, I see. Storm sees. Springsteen? Springstein? Springerstein may see him now. He's inside. Man, we're gonna start uh, start moving guys back into the compound to hard cover. We're taking heavy rocket fire. Hey, Don't move too much. They might hear you. Command, they are in the Draw town. In and we are in where squad is in. We're here Roger for Reed, if just uh, turtle turtle up. Make them come to you. Kill as many as you can. If there's a if there's a lull, I'll have you back. But just for the time to let him Reposition. Trying to get like a nice wide angle. Storm takes a fire, uh, has a firefight with Flicker. Flicker takes him out. Flicker's gonna have to bandage. Almost managed to train. Uh, almost managed to trade by Storm. Storm was actually a really good shot. He just didn't manage to uh, land him this time around. And that's the, the the problem with this strategy of having two f squad here and a squad here. There's no viable way to fall back. Beats is okay. Did another go down? No, Luxran is still alive. There, there's no real viable way for Blue 3 to get out of this position. They need to harden up and, and let the enemy come to them at this point. Ooh, kool aids takes out Hawk. Really nice spot there. Uh, I have two MGs that are running low on ammo. Is there any way that we can get another squad to give us some ammunition? And this is very methodical for the insurgents so far. Clearing out building after Damn, building, making sure they're not taking too many casualties. Roger. Still got a, they got a ways to move. Red 3 still on the southwest. Red 3 holding point proper. Um, we've got Red 4 has a fire time on the east with this technical, and we've got Red 2 on the north, um, pushing Blue 3. Blue 2, Blue 1, and Blue 4 all on the point proper. They're not going to really move from here. It's almost to the point where I feel it's too saturated with, with troops. Spread them out a little bit, potentially over here where the uh, Karma Cut and Trost are. At least have a fire team over there to uh, counterflank. Let's take a look at their actual position. Are there, it, it may just look cluttered on the map. Yeah. It is pretty spread out enough. A lot of people in this building. Very susceptible to an IED. I'm fucking shook, man. That was so close to my face. Techie in the town. Techie in our town. Talking about getting fragged already. Not bad position here. This makes it look more cluttered than it actually is. Just because those are all the... The, uh... Rallies are in what? Friendly enemy, can't see a name. What's your name? Go back and look at the north. Uh, I got him. Once he's backed up, he's dropped down. He's on the roof. On the roof. If you can fucking mow him, dude, just hold those tight corners. Yep, yep. Ooh, I like the spot from Springer Springerstein. This is Looking a great at Lex Ryan. Off, so I think we're gonna be fine here. They just Except if we us. get grenaded. Well, that's why it's great, because we have all these fucking walls here. If they grenade one side, we'll be fine. We just gotta run to the other. Wait, he's, he knows where Lex Ryan is. He's hoping Lex Ryan peaks that same little building. Look at that. Look how tight this angle is. I yeah, yeah, I see it now. They just did it, so he's probably gonna move. Yeah, he's probably moving I'm back. I'm watching it. He's probably wiped his fucking fire Same. teams. See anything? No. Seven to nine. Insurgents spreading it out. Spreading the kills out. What are they currently rocketing? Just the point proper. Constantly bombarding it. Not letting them feel safe. Not letting them maneuver. 
but what are they doing with the rocket? Not not with the rocket already, but with the distraction and the focus that the rocket already is pulling. It's definitely pulling focus away from other areas. What are they doing? Looks like red one is moving. What's the call here? Does red one hook up with red three and push north? Or does red one push north and then push east? Both are viable, I think. I think both are viable. I feel like both are viable. What do you what would you guys do? Yeah, take you north, audio on it. north here, jump off here, or north and then get the foothold here. I think this is not gonna work for them. This this is just too too much of an issue for them. Um maybe as a as an afterthought with four here, just to distract. But I think the bulk of the push is gonna come from the north. This is gonna be an intense firefight for three and two though. Contact up there. No update. They tried to smoke the roads, uh, but they you don't think they crossed. It's stagnant right now. Right. How many do you have any curbed kills yeah, on yeah, them? They probably, they, we probably killed a few, and we could have killed um, so. key leaders, and then they just kind of scattered gonna, and regrouped. Uh, north of my west buddy team. It's a nice spot for Command Flicker. Three, it one, doesn't one, seem one, good two in, in just its... Like, just looking at it, but the angle he's watching is very important. Not allowing Beats and like trying to uh, maneuver off that. Do I participate in the events? Um, I haven't participated. Well, I participate like I commentating, just, uh, if that's what you mean. Um, but I actually haven't been able to play in an op in in, a, in, a, in quite a bit. Um, I like to play in the ops, and I, I do want to play in the ops. But uh, I like commentating more, and I like bringing the stream to you guys, getting the name of squad ops out there, getting more people to join, and just helping the community grow. I, I'm I'm enjoying that more than playing. But I'm not saying I would turn down playing. I just need more commentators to do that. I hear that tech. Total wars running. Is he spotted? No, there's no way to spot. I like the flank that uh, Assault has gone on to uh, circumvent the, the INS. Probably need to pull Lex Ryan and Ben out of there. Or Beats? Engaging that, uh, to north. What if I want to commentate? How am I able to commentate? Um, right now, uh, commentating is reserved for our regulars and above. So if you can, if you become a regular, then just hit me up and say, "Hey, Shadow, I want to commentate." And then we do some test streams with you and a co-commentator. Um, most like mostly on our uh, frontline radio streams or uh, like a Friday stream or a Saturday stream. That's a little uh, not less important, but not as uh, stressful. And uh, we just get you to commentate with the co-commentator a couple times. Make sure you're comfortable, and then. We throw you into the deep end with our multicam stream because I like doing the multicam stream. Um, I, I just can't do the mixing and the uh, and stream at the same time because my computer would explode. The, the program is very CPU heavy and uh, squad is CPU heavy and all that stuff. Like, it just puts a lot of strain on my uh, CPU. My graphics card can hold, handle it, I think. I have a 1070, but uh, I, I would need something like an i7. To, uh, reliably uh, play squad and do multi at the same time. Very so nine to ten for the insurgents in the IS. Where th the kills are very spread out, and it seems like the insurgents are are hesitant to move. Like one and three have been in this position for. Quite a long time. Four's moved and gotten into their spot on the east. Looks like these guys are now starting to move. Oh, Uzi takes out Crispy. Assault's gonna see Uzi though. No, no, Assault doesn't see Uzi. Assault, uh, Uzi's just running. I lost a medic. This thing. Uzi knows there's guys near him. Iron Peak Assault. Fine over there by Beats and Lex Ryan. Oh, that's how you do it. Right there, Uzi just stares at the grenade and dies. <laughs> he just. He, he, could, he couldn't get out of that. There's no way for him to get out of that. If he tried to jump, get up and jump over, he, he it would have blown up before he managed to, to jump out. 
jump over. Lex Ryan uh, is having a firefight with Spring Springerstein. Uh, I really felt like Springerstein had the uh, the upper hand. Springerstein, yes, I felt like he had the upper hand in the angle. But uh, oh, RPG says otherwise. <laughs> oh, that was dirty beats. Oh wow. I like that. Um, Beats and Lex Ryan clear out that position. Cyclone, Flicker, and Total War last one remaining. Last ones remaining. These rockets are taking their toll. Look at look at those health bars over there. There are people that are hurt. There's one who's dead. Looks like Atomic Peach had gone down to a rocket. I'd say. Yeah, potentially some fire from four. Look at four moving. Look at four moving. They're running. This is how you push. Right there. Underneath the rocket already, and they're moving. This is Xbit. Xbit's not squad leading. He's a fire team leading. He commands so much. He knows what the command wants. If he says go, he means go now. You you can't you can't hesitate. If you you hesitate, you die. You need to go. You need to move. Hands finger. They did you wrong, right? They they're just like I'm not gonna try and shoot this with bullets. Just take a frag round and be done with it. I mean, and that's what you got to do. They've got eight RPG kits. That is so many RPGs um, that they've got at their disposal. King Sam Fish got, uh, takes uh, a shot at Thor in the back, and an, uh, an IED takes out three. IED takes out three. That was Thor's IED. Great, great job. x going to push in, takes out King Sam and Fish God, taking charge of the situation there. Bushy Church now needs to push up with him. Oh, and they're moving. Yeah, that wasn't a suicide techie. Was that a suicide techie? That, was that a V-bed? That was a V-bed. I like that. <laughs> they did a V-bed. Oh, no. He had a mine. Maybe. I don't know. That was supposed to be a V-bed. I don't think he was supposed to die. Wow. Such a multi-pronged attack. So, 12 for the US. 18 for the INS. Expedit and Bushy Church. In a really nice spot here. Blackbeard gonna have to try another firefight. No uh, gun shield for you in this game, Blackbeard. You're gonna have to fight this out for real, Expit. Uh, has the better angle, in my opinion. Another techie pulls up. Two people here, Londarts, and <laughs> Londarts gets run over by Stalker Delano. But they are here, and they've got uh, a foothold, a very tentative foothold here. Oh, what a frag round onto Bushy Church and Expit. This push over here. Strangelove versus Alpha Guido. Alpha Guido pushes him, takes him out. He should have had him. Alpha Guido was dead to rights there. He was sprinting at the time. They're getting in close on the south side, guys. Getting in close south side. Getting in close everywhere. They've got a foothold on the east, foothold on the southwest. This, uh, this is. This, Three's done a good job holding up their squad. They are losing more guys than I think they should, or I'm um, not should. I guess they're not doing anything necessarily wrong. The the INS are just using their assets very well in that situation. And uh, but they're holding up a full squad, so I guess you could say they are doing their job. This techie with Wayne Noon is just laying down fire, suppressing everybody. Um, I'd like to see him remaneuver at this point, though. Vladimir Putin goes down to coolest guy or potentially Subway Samurai. I completely forgot about Karma Cut and Frost here. Now look at the angle they've got shooting Should into the backs him. of the yeah, uh, the died. INS. Yeah, one goes down. And imagine if this was a fire team over here rather than two guys. See how much more effective they could be? They could actually go for a flank, like pushing down south here and moving up along this earth bank. But Should now. Dark green uh, bush, two, two, uh, one, two, one, two, six. He was on the left side of it with a RPK, I think. Right, Look at that subway go. samurai. It's a long, uh, dark green bush. That's what he's talking about there. You want me to just crawl through that field all the way up there, compound? Maybe. Mm -hmm. No, oh, who? Them or us? No, me. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're in a great spot. They don't need to move. There's a. If this was a bigger element, I'd say that the the, the flank might be the right call. 
Both those two guys, they are doing a great job just holding off the insurgents from pushing this west side. Let's check out other areas. Stalker de Londard still alive on the east. Um, Wayne Newton pulls up with this techie with Pipe Funk. Looks like the insurgents are... The U.S. are making the insurgents pay for every inch of territory they're trying to get in this village. And it seems to be working out. They, they have a very good... Uh, not fallback path, but they've done a great job falling back, if that makes sense. They they were occupying this building. The mo Granted, most of them died in this compound, but some managed to get out and move down to the inner compound. Same on the east and the south. IED goes off. Nobody goes down. And uh, it's, it's a very close game. U.S. Uh, bring it back a little bit. 24 to 23. Who, who are the heroes right now? Blackbeard's got two kills. That was that guy uh, who took out Expit and friends. Who was three? Clay J two. Karma one. Carmen Frost on that flank, getting one kill apiece. How's three doing on the north? I mean, they're still holding up about a fire team. Two guys holding up a fire team. That's value. Silas, the one closest to anything. Brandon, how's the rest of your squad doing? Second, How's the rest of your squad? Second ID going off. I heard <laughs> that one. Boy, pull away. Fuck. I'm gonna try to flank us. They heard it. They heard it. It's a very distinct sound. They, they, so the IDs got one kill or three kills. One went off. They got three kills, and that was all. That was the message the the US needed. Were they've got IDs, guys? Watch it. They knew they had it before, but it suddenly it just was reinforced. They have this this ex, these explosives. We cannot clump up. We cannot stand against these walls where they know the enemy is because the chances of them just destroying us is very high. Looks like a uh, squad two bypasses. Wow, look at Karma. Left side of the road, push south. Bypasses uh, Blue 3. As I was saying, uh, Red 2 bypasses Blue 3. And uh, luckily, Karma managed to spot them. He's not uh, not going to be an issue anymore. This is suppression right here. He's not trying to get accurate shots. He, because if he tries to get accurate shots, he's just going to die. He's just pinning them down, making sure, hey, if you get up and move, it gives me the clear shot, and I don't even really need to aim, giving time for uh, Blue 3 here to move. A great suppression fire by uh, Karma, and uh, Frost is still watching the southeast. Okay. Potentially move him back up, but uh, they have no idea if this is confirmed kills or not. Probably best. Three, you're free Look at that. Fight. My guys are... Yeah, copy. Just Ooh, look at those. Look at those shots. They know where he is now. These guys have a potential, the potential to wipe this squad out. Very close game so far. Good things on both sides. Less good things on both sides as well. But uh, for the most part, I've been very, uh, I've, I've, I've enjoyed this op so far. It's been, uh, been pretty uh, pretty solid movement on both sides. Total War HQ has eyes on. Takes out Assault. That's the squad lead. Takes out Max. Almost misses his shots. Max is hurt. He's down. Oh, he's, he's continuing to shoot at Assault. I'm going to reset my get a frag. So how yeah, far I'm south of them are you? Frag, right? I'm frag. Not far enough. They're far not in. I don't think they're in frag range yet. Uh, like 20, yeah. 30 meters? Not in frag range just yet. It's like Max and PC only ones left. That IED does not take anybody out. They've learned their lesson. They're not gonna fall for that again. You fool me once, you know, shame on you. you fool me twice, shame on me. Something like that. Um, Silas and Rosebud are going to try and push in from the south. We got uh, Pipe Funk, Stalker, Della Notes, Lawn Darts on the east, Max and Beats on the north. And that is all for the insurgents. Let's get an actual count to.
Seven versus... Fourteen? Wow. You guys have a really, really solid hold so far. Frag almost takes out Dwarf. I thought it should have possibly landed right on the outside. Oh, yeah. I guess they got a couple more kills. Uba. This squad has done some... Uh, squad 1 has done some pretty good work. It's to the point where I can't even have the names up because of how many people are dead. Look at the admin camps. Give me a setting where I can have names but no admin cam. Only once. Money man takes out lawn darts. Stalker down low is going to try and literally counter frag. Frag doesn't go far enough. Next frag. We think we have two or three of them in the field. Too far. East of us. We're holding here. I was playing, then I died. Well. <laughs> It happens. Stuck it on it. Goes down to Money Man. These are just out fragging the, the insurgents. The insurgents haven't done anything necessarily wrong. Their movement has been okay. Their uh, position has been alright. They're just, when it comes to these individual firefights, they're just losing out. Leaves Stuck it on it and beats. Only two remaining. Yeah, I believe only two remaining. Double check. Yep. And the person who was with Max, I, I forget his name, goes down. And Max goes down as well. Actually, whoa, whoa. I didn't even not even see Rosebuddy and Silas here. Rosebuddy goes down to uh, Rain Man. I am reloading. I got you. Hey, they're going to the compound. Uh, on the That's how you do it right here. Use your, use your kit. You got a doorway there. Probably need to come in from like this angle. Yep, I'm aware. They have passed, man. Nah, no, see, he's gonna hit the door. There's a door there. There you go. You got the angle now. You got the angle now. Takes out Rain Man. There is an exterior door to your building. We have friendly pushing to the south. Coming southeast now. Ooh, Karma Cut and Frost pulling, uh, pushing back in. But uh, I don't think they're going to need to get there. Rose Buddy's going to try and peek Dwarf. Dwarf's going to take him out. What a bad shot from me. Could have had a better angle there. Sorry, folks. But it looks like uh, Rose has gone down. Is that the last of the insurgents? It is. Nice hold for the U.S. Good maneuvering. Their, their, their main problem was this hold on the south and this hold on the north. It, this hold on the north actually did end up paying off for them. The That's hold on the up. south I felt could have been a little more effective because oh, they, 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 they have asked other, uh, both things. They <laughs> door had a fire team fall back yeah. and they tried to hold. If you're going to try and hold, try and hold. You know, don't leave a fire team there to die. Um, but I mean, it ended up working out for them okay that was the brunt of the insurgent forces so probably for the best that they had at least some of the fire team fall back but if you're gonna fall back either fall back or try and hold i don't think they the the call to pull back just a fire team maybe they got caught in the middle of the evac that's probably what happened insurgents i think they could have utilized their um um what's the word rocket techie a little bit better they could have utilized firing and moving under it like when we saw the the rocket barrage uh go off and then expert and his fire team rush up there that is exactly how it should have been done from the beginning use that uh the the power that the suppression from the rocket techies provides and then move in there before they have a chance to uh maneuver and the rocket techies if, if say rockets are landing on the outside of the building and and, and making noise you can throw down that ied with no worries because they're not going to hear you throw down the id they're worried about actual explosions not the p explosions that's going to happen in two seconds great job on both teams we're going to go ahead and swap sides by their rocket battery uh, or their their uh, rocket techies JK with the vehicle repair station uh, let's go ahead and listen in on Londarts and his uh, platoon uh, brief things, things go well uh, this round for you all right so pretty basic plan here this is our combat outpost that will defend to the last man uh, there's a large ins force uh here in the uh in the valley that we'll need to defend from uh, they have all sorts of different assets so uh, be careful not to be caught out on roofs or in exposed areas uh, if we take any sort of indirect fire 
on point with the engineer squad will be Pomp. He has four engineers who have been instructed to sprinkle their mines all over the place. Anywhere where you think a technical might uh, be driving close to the point, that's where we want those mines down. Also bear in mind, uh, engineers, you do have satchel charges, so if you're positioned on an exterior wall and you hear footsteps on, footsteps on the other side, go ahead and put your charge down, tell everyone to pull back and uh, let the explosion do the work for you. All right, to our northeast will be uh, Alpha Guido and Expert Squad. Uh, be advised, uh, INS may start anywhere near us, so um, both those squads wary as you uh, push from live into those compounds that you might hit contact straight away. Also on the point here with Bump Squad will be Assault Squad, and I uh, heard that he'll be taking up a, a normally defensive point. Uh, one other thing to point out uh, for Bump Squad is behind us here to the south is another possible INS uh, head start point. So we do want uh, eyes that way pretty much uh, from live. Any questions? All right, excellent. Uh, squad leaders uh, break them out, remain inside fob radius until live is called. Go hard or go home. Take both, Dwarf. Do it. And they're live. Moving right off the bat. No crashes so far. Ah! Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. So here's where it's going to split. Looks like they're going to have a squad going here and a squad going here. Yeah. Red 2 moves here. Red 4 moves here. And they're just scouting. They're just looking around. No movement from the forward scouts, though. Not even an attempt to... Uh, what was that? Oh, probably a map mode. Godzilla Pro and XO Skeleton gonna set their minds down. Okay, I, I was like, why are you gonna send a, just a fire team out here to the west? Probably not the best call, but uh, yeah, they're not even a fire team, a buddy team over here to the west into this village. Not the best call to have that just a single buddy team hold this. They're just gonna get a mine down. Same with one here, getting a mine down along this um, uh, road or uh, earth bank. We'll put one more out as well. Bump, that's probably far enough for that western body pair. If they could pull back. Get on this side of the berm. Copy, they've still got a couple of mines. Do you want them to finish that last Just to move or do you want them pulling back now? If they could back, I want, if you've got any spare mines, we'll go and see an ammo bearer in squad two. Get a mine internally, like Echo 558. So to the, that's like the internal road system between squad three and squad two. All right, copy. Well, they've already got they've got one mine each between the um, and they've got a uh, ammo bearer with them technically because of the FTLs. So I'm pulling them back down though. Yeah, I don't know. Like pulling them, putting a the mine all the way over here is probably not the best idea. Just you don't need to go that far to put some mines out. I was thinking a mine here and a mine here, right here would be just fine. This would block off this entire little compound from being a uh, push through just freely and uh, almost definitely gonna get a kill I can almost guarantee you somebody's gonna come down here look look at look at one look at one make sure that they have a way of getting back out rather than yeah don't send them on suicide mission but as long as it's not suicide mission it's all good will do you hear attacking us so uh movement so far, red four holding market, red two and five holding um uh, my western I don't remember what this is called, and red one holding down this village. Should we get ne next to the building one? Roger, have them uh, pull back as fast uh, as I they want can. Up in this corner as much concealment of as where possible. the berms Hey Fern, I briefed them on that before. They just need to fall back. They don't want to go down for free. 
they believe he was more than likely in the cloud. The radio was in last round. Over. Roger. Bump, once you get the strength again, back on the points, if you can have a, a buddy pair, head to the southern compound and echo oh, six. Fuck, man, I got binos. What am I doing? Four. Solid copy. They're going to be a listening post. If they hear us anything, have them shoot at it and get back to us as soon as possible. Here's good. Can't yeah, be somewhere dead. along here. For the Imperial News Network squad, yeah, man, the one, the the one man squad. I got this. Empire did nothing wrong. I I, I like the, the mind placements are very very um thought out. Good. They 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 recognize this is a a great uh firm for the. Techie to just ride up and down without taking too much uh, contact. Right here. We go underground to see it. There it is. Yeah. That's such a hard spot, too. Like, just physically, like, just spot it. It's so hard. <laughs> so, it, the, the only way they're really going to see it is if they run over it. A vehicle at minus mine, or was that something else? Uh, no, at this point. Probably the vehicles at INS main. Blowing up. Yeah. These other two mines along the road, not not terrible spots. Yeah. Right here. Easier to spot in my opinion, but uh you, you kinda have to have some on the roads just to just to deny them the, the ability to drive uh up and down them problems. Yeah. Same with this it's like around here. Check out U.S. position. Watching the north, watching the northeast, watching the east. Got a mine over here too. Pretty solid spread so far for the U.S. And they they have really good position. And a buddy team, or a fire team, over to to the south. Revy, Viper, and Cool right, Sky. Gonna... Uh, gonna put one mine down there, then pull back north while I have that buddy team on their way down to that compound. Roger one. Okay. Okay. Look. They're gonna just kind of complete the ring of scout mines. Techie. This is, yeah, this is just scout techie. This is for contact update. Go ahead. Three hundred meters to my north, and Echo three one two, insurgents. Is is two. Roger that four. The size of four. Four. For technicals. One or two local farmers crawling around. Roger that. Three. Can you extend your coverage to the uh, eastern part of the map? If you need to push another buddy pair to the east of UJ Key, uh, I don't want them slipping past you on your eastern side. Copy that. What do they see? They see friendlies! They're shooting at friendlies! Was that contact focused towards any of us? What? What is going on? <laughs> He's got binoculars, cyclones guiding us in. SPG techie. Yeah, it's an SG like northwest north from what I can tell. Jamar yeah, and Phoenix. Flash. Six, two. He wants to know more. I understood that reference. Oh, that shook my screen. Yeah, they're firing at my uh, Western fire team in Fox, or sorry, Echo 5 7. Wise man once stated there's no such thing as friendly uh, fire. Rockets. <laughs> Rockets inbound. Have you guys make sure like that. Sort of cover. Yeah, confirm the rock RDs. Looks like it's coming from roughly Echo 344. Pretty good call out. It's pretty, from Ark, it's coming from roughly where we were doing it last round. Roger. Uh, Joe, did you copy my last in terms of extending your security to the eastern map order? Yeah, we're working on it now. 
See how hard it is to arrange this in. Look at the spread. Just look at that. That's all from the same angle, I guarantee you. And it is this it, it blankets this entire field. Or it, it blankets the length of the field, I guess I should. Not One and two. Let's make sure uh, east to west, but definitely north to south. Here. So, they're going to have to adjust this. They don't kill one for the U.S. Is zero for the insurgents. Looks like they took out Jamar there. Yeah. Phoenix go down too? No, Phoenix is still alive. Unfortunate. Good one, did you copy last? I want you to leave guys on that compound in Echo 654. Yeah, copy. I don't know why they're all turning around. I can just stay. Alright, can you, can you get two of them? I want at least a fire team there. I, don't, I want to know if the INS moves in there. Copy, yeah, they're coming back. Command, I have a contact group for you when you're ready. Yeah, go ahead. I got one time's enemy infantry. He's going to be on the roof of the west in the compound at Delta 544. Delta 544 to the west. He's already up there. I can see him. Yeah. All squads of weapons free. So far, I've been pretty impressed with the comms. Very well spoken. Uh, not cluttered. Information is getting past where it needs to be. So far, yeah, I'm I've, I'm enjoyed the comms so far. I don't think Skeptic and Total War are gonna hit this uh, hit this mine, unfortunately. Zabari is standing right on top of it. Right here. Imagine. Oh. Imagine. That tech, he just like backed up into the air. Just to get a better angle. And then it's like, boom. Wow, Cyclone goes down to an RPG, I believe. Yeah, RPG takes out that uh, Three or technical. Four. Very nice Maybe shot from the RPG. This is three negative contact right now. Negative contact. We're still firing on the Delta Four Two location. Roger that. If you see any infantry moving to, let me know. I really and like the suppression the insurgents are putting out. My, uh, they need to just make use of it. Just is this, this, this we're sort of having the uh, a similar situation to last round where the the insurgents just were bashing the U.S. with long range SVG shots and rocket arty, but the actual infantry poised to assault did not assault in a timely manner. And uh, who's going to be the assault? Give me one here. Pick one here. Roger that one. If you can displace from this compound your entire squad, you're gonna head to the compound to the south. Repeat your last. I want your guys to the compound on the south and spread along the berm between the like, south compound and this compound. Copy, I've got a fire team, fire team's in town. Second body team's on their way there. Call is for the full of bump squad, full squad one, fire team here, and then uh, lined up with, between the spur looking west. And I, the calls, it, it, the call came through, and the uh, the call, uh, the movement is happening at the right time. You got a uh, Karmakut and Vladimir Putin here pushing Godzilla Pro and Subway Samurai. Karmakut and Vladimir, none the you can wiser. See the tracers, but I'm not, not the vehicle itself. And neither is Subway uh, Samurai and Godzilla Pro. They have no idea. Karma sees him. He tries to shoot with the PPSH. That's Man, that's give that to the AK, that's you greedy. Ooh, Karmakut. Could have, they could have had some easy kills there if they had let the AK take those shots. Oh, contacts direct south and frag range in my north or my southern fire team. Push into the combat zone. I'm getting into the building to cover. Engage and pull back. Three. Okay, go ahead. I need you to uh, put the fire team back to the mine mark to your south, that compound. Yeah, copy. Already on it. I'm working on shooting a whole Charlie fire team down there. Good movement so far. You want the charge? Yeah, the shot How do you want to go? Are we pulling back? Hey, try tossing grenades over if you can. 
southwest. Yeah, we got. Are oh, they gonna just bypass this? Okay. Southwest to uh, that compound one zone. Roger that. Your weapon's free as long as it's not too dangerous with the uh, 50 cal. They're just gonna bypass us. They don't even want this fight. Okay. Okay. No, they they do want this. Fight. This seems like a harassing fire team more than anything. Kuba, Greg, Gregors, and uh, Vladimir, uh, Karmakut. I don't think they're supposed to hard engage anywhere. That's probably the call. Draw presence, force maneuvering from all these other elements. Movement. They're on the wrong side of the berm. Well, they're they're in an awkward yeah, spot to pull back. Roger that one. They're going out now. that building entirely. But alright, have them come back at you and reinforce the uh, point where you are. All squads just maintain a good 360 at this point. Try and where their main force is coming from. I'm not sure. Well, Karma, he's much smarter than that sometimes. <laughs> shots fired out to the west. Okay, so it looks like uh, Kuba's lost sight of these guys. They're not going to see this fallback. They're going to just continue to fire on the. Uh... Just go straight south compound proper it may hit the mine Roger that. I just called that out, it may hit the mine ooh, ooh. Yeah, go. so close so close look at that get it back up into the mine oh please <laughs> looks like one of them got shot they're gonna have to bandage yeah, potentially Heck, he goes down to a mine. All right, we'll go watch that northern element as uh, Karma's going to continue to try and maneuver on the south. Expert, what direction are they approaching from? Yo. Nice. They got one with the mine. Are there any more mines for them to worry about? There is. They passed it up though. Looks like they they found it and they're going to dig it up, or they at least just accidentally missed. Oh, they saw. It. They had to have seen it because he was on the road and now they're remaneuvering. Yeah, so, uh, good move by, uh, this is blue, uh, red 2 on the north, red 4 as the base of fire on the west, red 3 as the base of fire on the northwest, and, uh, red 1 acting as a harassing squad on the south. Positions of blue team, blue 4 on the north, blue 2 on the northwest, blue 1 south, and blue 3 on south and northern duty. Alright, so they hit Very spread out from 3. Hopefully they'll hit the one on the south. Roger. Red's gonna pull out of there, or red one on the south is gonna pull out of there. Looks like this is gonna be the uh, the main assault. listen to blue. I feel like I've been over red for a while. I haven't heard any of the blue local comms. I'm a big fan of local comms. There they go. Good hits. I've got two crawling behind that green bush. Team here is going to move north and then west. I like that. Pulling a fire team to flank. Really good call. Uh, I like the idea of somebody being off the point on defense, not a large amount of people because you still need to defend the point proper. Um, but having like a fire team, a, a little bit. Fire team is probably my favorite size element to be off of the point when defending. So you just constantly be rotating around the point, maneuvering around the point, and hitting them in the flanks. I feel like that's small enough to be. Agile, I guess, and very maneuverable, and not too large to where they're they're slow, and um, okay, it takes yeah. time for them to get places.
Proton. Enemy infantry spotted. Probably uh, I don't want to risk it. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not risking it. Ooh, Thor goes down to an RPG. Oh wow, they're really close here on the west. Really good push from Sabari and friends here. Assault's caught out, in my opinion. Not a great spot for Assault. Assault takes out one. Assault's in a great spot. He just needs to go full auto here. He's, oh no, he can't pull back from here. There's no way he can move. Assault goes down. Yeah, if he got up and moved, he was, he was caught out. Yeah, look where he was. Is this round one or round two? This is round two, Clayton, but near in the mid game, in my opinion. So it takes out two, but goes down. I lost assault, where Genji is like, uh, Techie, myself, 188. Alright, Roger. Crispy, it's really important that your southern guys look after the south and your northern guys look after the north. Okay, so we have a couple of guys that are engaging our northwest, so they took down two. See, really, I've seen Assault go down a long time. Yeah, Assault, uh, and, and in one, he's just in a bad spot. Like, where are you, where are you running from here? He died about, about here. Where do you run? You stand up, you're out in the open. You run, you're okay for a split second, and then you have to cross a road, and then you can get to cover. That's just poor positioning. You learn from it. You probably won't make that mistake again. Oh, they hit a mine! No, I don't think it hit mine. I think it just blew up to uh, an, an RPG. Copy. Really good push from the northwest here, though. Really solid uh, push. They need to keep up this pressure. They need to overwhelm them. Straight west, watch out. On the south yeah, side of this window, straight west, south side of the curve. Really They're keep smoking it up. up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keep it up. We're holding where it's getting fucked. Roger that heavy. They're like, back out there, so I hope we're still holding. There you go, April. Thanks, bro. Luck, mate. Good luck. Risky run for Maple here. Ooh. He, he's gonna make it, it looks like. He just needed to get a medic and he's healing. Looks like uh, Expit is still alive. His fire team's been just torn apart, or his squad, Expit squad has been just torn apart. Doing an okay job of holding back a full squad and a half, though. So three on a flank, on a mission to hit him in the north. Looks like Stoner goes down. Did we get all killed? Diner. Oh, just as Grunts goes down. Oh wow, yeah. Beautiful positioning from three. Great call on Londars to get these guys going on a flanking mission. Really, really solid flank. The perfect element, in my opinion, to flank is a fire team to harass them in the rear. They, they don't have to overcommit a, a large amount of people. Yeah, great. Great flank by three here. Look at him. Now, three, four, five. Five guys have to turn around and deal with four. That's value. I guess four. Five, technically. Sled, make sure they don't come up behind us. Look at our rear. I can't hear you, man. Sled, look at our rear. Can. Cover our sick. They're smoking. Yeah, copy that. Keep keep up suppressive fire. Don't burst your entire belt. Tell me. Hold fire, hold fire. 
Hey, Command, do you, yep. Command, do you want me sending my fire team back since four is pulling back in? Sending back to the south? Oh, they missed it. Psychonaut would have seen right where that, uh, that, that came from. Was. They're coming into the compound on the northwestern at this time. They're breached. Roger. Really good flank here. It looks like they're breaching the compound proper. Let's go check out that hole. Who's still alive over there? You got BVD runner. Um, Doobie Skew and Efink. They've got a foothold. Nominal though it is. Can anybody else help reinforce us? They need the rest of these guys to just stream in here. My flank is getting bogged down here. Working on it right now. Oh, wow, look at that. They're coming in contact with Atomic and Dwarf, and Atomic and Dwarf go down to a grenade. Oh no, it's not Dwarf, it's Gerwolf. Atomic and Gerwolf go down to the flank. Negative on that, we're, uh, we're back down on all fronts right now. Alright, you've also got your sudden element if you need to push them to the west. They're all in the western wall right now. Next bit has gone down. Did they increase the server capacity yet? Nope, still at 80v80. Oh, sorry, not 80v80. Wow, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Um, 40v40. Uh, 40 40, 80 man servers. I know they're they're talking about, and I mean it's in their long-term goals um, for 100 man servers, 50v50. All right, update on kills: 15 for the US, six for the insurgents. US holding tight, holding tight, no problems. Looks like uh, uh, I believe this is Kuba squad on the south. Red one on the south is now pushing in. Yeah, Clay J squad on the south now pushing north. See if they can get their foothold. They're probably gonna have to use IEDs to clear that out. I think the the push is gonna have to come from the west here. I really like the position in the Phoenix Springerstein and Lima Bean. This is where they're gonna come in. Don't die to an IED, Lon. Commander, are they on your west or your east? Yeah, I'm pulling back to the team to be able to Ooh, Stalker almost takes an RPG to the face! and what sounds like one dollar. Alright, command, uh, be advised, my southern elements are only at 50% strength. They'd come into heavy contact around that Echo 588 grid, uh, compound. Looks like, like the INS push is stalling. That's, that, uh, they're, they're just running out of men too quickly. Um, they should probably... Ooh. This element here has done some good work. We're squad three. Yeah, Lord Chonka got three. Saikuno got one. This has a, been a pretty successful flank, tying up so many people for the INS, not allowing them to commit their full force to the assault, and it is costing them. Did I TK somebody? I'm not sure, Skeptic. And they've re reestablished their, their, their slight foothold. Breaching the compound, but where do they go from here? Can they even get into the actual inside here? Oh, they can't. Okay, I thought they could. I, I, I want. That's, that's my fault. I 100% thought this was an open door. It is not an open door. And uh, they didn't train the insurgents how to open doors. They didn't train the U.S. how to open doors either. So uh, that door is just a solid wall to them. I don't know what what they're gonna do from there. I thought it was a better foothold than it than it was made out to be. Clay J. Doku and Rio and friend have been flanked by Viper, the coolest guy, CJ Ryan, and I can't make yeah, out the, the last name. Revy, Revy's the last guy. Doors, how do you work? Right? <laughs> I've been playing um, uh, Insurgency Sandstorm, and I'm just, I like the doors in that because I know you can open them, but I just kick down every door I come up on. Like, boom! Get out of the way, door. You can kill people if you kick the door down in Insurgency Sandstorm. It's so cool. I saw that for the first time yesterday. Liver Pundit goes down to uh, Zabari, possibly Phoenix. 25 for the U.S., 12 for the interns. Interns are... I got two of my guys. Two of as well. They're moving well. They're moving well, and I really like the how they got, actually got in there. It's just that they haven't been able to capitalize. Springerstein goes down. 
They haven't been able to make the, the US pay for it. They haven't used their IEDs. I think if they had used their IEDs in some of these situations or gotten their IEDs close, they might have been able to be more effective in their pushes. But I really like this Western Assault. But uh, this Squad 3 here, Squad 3 flank was just devastating for the Insurgents. It really tied up so many of their assets. Update on commands. Looks like Dwarf is still alive, so Lawn Darts is still alive. Um, dead squad lead. It's got an original squad lead, dead squad lead, original squad lead. So they got half of their squad leads. A wipe squad just about. Uh, no squad lead. Original squad lead. Original. Nope, he's dead. He's got one squad lead and his uh, command. So, Doku and Rio, Godzilla Pro. Uh, Godzilla Pro goes down to Doku and Rio. Uh, looks like Alex Ryan was the one who got the counter frag. And the southern yeah, flank has been tied up. Southern flank is dealt with. Let's get an actual count of who's left. Uh, um, two, three. Uh, flank is currently 50% straight. Eleven uh, versus. Bias first. We'll update afterwards. Roger, your buddy from the northeast. So they've been in contact. Eighteen. Yes, they're so not. It's actually relatively close. It doesn't seem like that. Twenty-seven to fifteen, but it's actually relatively yeah, close. Right. Right, to be clear three, you're saying we still have contact to our northeast. Guido, did you saying we still yes. have contact? I only got it once, kicking down a door and killing somebody. I was so stunned right. that I got killed by his buddy. I'm not good at insurgency scans. I'm, I'm actually really, really bad at it. And I, I feel like this because insurgency scans, you need to know the maps. It's like map knowledge is king in that game. You can get in a really nice flank. You can just destroy, but if for me, I'm just running around, and if I see somebody, I shoot at them, but I don't see them before I die half the time. It was for uh, Squad Four. It's it's fun, but I'm it, it's it's frustrating. <laughs> How's it going, Heinz? It is going. Inserts are having some trouble pushing the U.S. out of their COP location. B and and three has been a monster with their flank so far, and is in fact. In a really nice flank on the northwest and has been put in a really nice flank on the northeast they didn't put themselves in this flank but uh, with them bypassing they're able to hit them in the rear and the u.s are holding their compounds proper very very well londar is being reinforced by squad one on the south i'd like to see them fall into a uh, film that hole between wayne newton and command like filling like these two compounds here and i think that'll do them some good spread these guys out a little bit so they're not all killed by the same ied other than that, they're, they're holding really well for the U.S. so far. Duke trading frags with Flicker. Alright, I have enough ammo for it. Go ahead. I need your fire team to clear out my south to reinforce four. Copy. Yeah, reinforce four. That's the call. One four. Way to recognize, Londarch. Way to recognize. Sneaky angle here from Duke. We still got confirmed targets in the X581 compound. Roger. Four, that's to your north. Northeast. Here we go. Oh, here it is. Three, four, three. Confirmed. Uh, what's up, my squad is going to try to make a uh, push from the north of that fire, uh, or that compound. That's an audio bug. They're not. They're not pushing, or they're not firing full auto at that range. They're just rapid tapping single fire, and it just. I, I don't know what happens with the admin cam, but it makes it sound like they're firing full auto. I am confident that Uzi just did not go full auto facing the north. Not at that range, anyways. So Phoenix Zabari dwarf. Uzi and Hawk close to the point. See if they can push. See how effectively they can push and clear. Frag out from Zabari. I think the idea was to get it in that window there. Oh, or on top of the sandbag. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Not a bad frag then. Hawk and one other go down to Wayne Newton and Duke. Dwarf's gonna try and counter frag. He sees Wayne Newton. Wayne Newton takes out Dwarf. But to see, I thought Duke would get the counter or the frag there. 
Blackbeard goes down to Duke. Oh, and they're just getting torn apart. With command going down, that might just make the whole line collapse. Three is pushing south. Affirmative. Really solid push here. Yeah, this this whole flank just got cleared up in a matter of seconds. There was like five or six kills. Real quick. Boom, boom, boom. One after the other. Duke needs a medic. Try to like, shoot out with King Sam and Fish God. King Sam and Fish God goes down. Hamdog is pushing into Alpha Guido. Alpha Guido takes out Hamdog and Mendax. That's two more, and that might be it, honestly. Those two kills? Yeah. Unintentional, then. <laughs> yeah. Great. They tried to fall back to reposition and ran right into Alpha Guido. Great flank. The maneuvering on, on, on Alpha Guido squad was just spot on. Great communication from the US both times. Good maneuvering from the, the inserts. I really like the angles they decided to push in from, and it and it Gotta worked for the most part. It was just how devastating oh, Squad 3 was anybody. in their flank. Oh, wait, Look at that. Bad. Eight kills with that flank. Eight that, kills for, for Squad 1, 2. Great job for both teams. If you're interested in yeah. participating in these events, be sure to check us out squadops.gg. All you need to do is sign up for the basic training course, and then you can participate in any and all of our Squad Ops One Life events. If you like what you found, saw when you give us a follow at twitch.tv forward slash squad ops, we would really appreciate it. We also upload all of our videos onto YouTube, youtube.com forward slash squad ops.